Si la luna ellas me dicen dónde voy. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, amor. Ay, mi boleta de mi corazón. How's it going? Me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el son. Mariachi me acompaña cuando canto mi canción. Me gusta tomar mis copas, aguardiente es lo mejor. Es el right one. Tequila blanco right con one. su sal le da sabor. Ay, 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 mi amor. Ay, mi morena de mi corazón. Me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el sol. El mariachi me acompaña cuando canto mi canción. Me gusta tomar mis copas, agua ardiente es lo mejor. También el tequila blanco con su sal. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> That's a bit rushed coming on. What am I? Been a bit out of the loop today, I'm going to be honest. Not sure what's been going on. Went live a bit myself before for an hour in the car. Sat there debating stuff, talking to the screen. It was all right for a bit, but I've heard some things have been flaring up, which isn't nice, is it? It's never nice when there's a bushfire on the app. So who's going to be there to extinguish it? But so let's do a bit of FYP news ish. Karma FYP. Sort of like FYP news. Looking at it, speaking about it. Give my verdict on it, breaking stuff down, predicting what's going to happen next, patting myself on the back when the prediction comes true. It's good. It's good times. Get right into it anyway. So this, this video is called DHB versus DG. Now I was live when this was happening, so I missed it. But get right into it. Why, why did he? Why did he end the live? Why did he end the live? Adjust the volume. Can I get a volume check? Why did he end the live really quickly and upset? No, he didn't. He didn't. So. Let me let me explain it. Can I explain it? Yeah, yeah, come. So, like, see, so you know when there's a say, say if there's a disabled person. Oh, yeah. Check, yeah. I I don't treat. I would take the piss out of my mate, yeah, and I would take the piss out of um, anybody around me. I take the piss out myself. Listen, I don't care. I've got a long hair. I've got this or whatever. I'm a skinny, lanky, whatever. I take the piss out myself, and I take the piss out of the people around me, and they have banter and whatever, and I expect it back, and. Because somebody's disabled, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it just before it starts getting into it. So, manipulation, all right? Manipulating vulnerable people. To be able to manipulate someone, that person needs to be in an area of weakness in their life. Okay? Weakness can also be called vulnerability okay so when someone's vulnerable or weak in a certain area of the life a predator can prey now what you see in unfold here 
Again, I am not anti-DG in any way, shape or form. I like DG's content. I'm not saying DG's a serial manipulator. I'm just saying it happens and he's at the top. Okay. But he might not realize all the time that he is doing it. But sometimes he will. <sighs> right, where am I going with this? So, after this week's shenanigans, okay, um, it's put DG in a bit of a weaker position than he was originally in before this week, which you could say has made him a bit weaker or a bit open to attack, which would make him vulnerable. Have I manipulated the situation? No. But the man in the box has seen this. He's seen what he's done. And this is it now, isn't it? This is it. This is how quick tables turn on apps like this because you have multiple opinions. You have people who put a front on. When that front drops, whoosh, everyone's getting in. So predictions from three weeks ago, uh, not three weeks ago, two weeks ago. I'm not going to go fully through it, but I did have a few, few people on the screen. And I said, this is going to happen to this person. It was Zach. Not, oh yeah, Zach. Miss Red. Mama Kaz was on there. DG was on there. And Evil Queen was on there. And I predicted before anything had come out, anything had happened, I predicted that something with all of these people would happen. Significant. And the significant thing with Evil Queen and me was that. So there's no downfall, there's no negative on that. I didn't know it was going to happen. I sort of predicted something would happen. Um, Zach misread. You know what happened with that. DG. I said the ripple effect would catch up and it seems it seems to be happening somewhat so let's watch it anyway before I bore you I would not be like pussyfooting around them or I would not be like this that and the other Darren you, you just take the piss out of them what you don't pussyfoot around disabled people you just take the piss out of them then yeah no, not no. I don't take the. I, I wouldn't because, take the because you take, hang, on, because, hang on, let me do it this way. Because you take the piss out of yourself and you have banter, and you take the piss out of yourself, you, it entitles you to take the piss out of disabled people. Can I finish? Go on. He asked me to impersonate him, right? Oh, did. And do you know the impersonation? I actually said, "Listen, I'm not going to impersonate you because it'd be savage, and I wouldn't want to." And he goes, "No." He goes, no, he goes, go savage. He goes, I want that. He goes, I, I think it's funny. This, that, and the other. Darren takes everything with a pinch of salt. He's actually quite a, he, he can have a bit of banter back and forth and stuff like that. And I actually said, listen, I don't want to do that. It's too far, blah, blah, blah. And before that video, we went with... With what happened with Darren, DG's right. Darren's, Darren's got a sense of, uh, a different sense of humour, I think, than... Well, how do you word this? Darren's got a sense of humour where he can gain from it. And obviously it, it would help Darren to gain some followers, etc. If obviously DG did impression. So there's no um, bad intentions from DG on that. <clears throat> and if you knew Darren, you'd or seen Darren on the app, you'd understand. Had that same thing, bantering back and forth. He cuts me off. Whether uh, he cuts me off. Go on, one point seven. Let's get him up. One point seven. We're going up. Listen, what you did, you took the piss out of him, right? You come on. You was you was on. You was out on a night out. You was all pissed up. You put your filter on, and he and he left. I don't Lisa! think. Was, I don't think there was any. Go on, go on, you gullible gifters. Keep giving gifting him. He needs to pay for his beers tonight. Um, you, you he left. He left the chat. He left upset. Yeah. I mean, weren't you taking a piss out of Ed Matthews saying that he's bullying him? Indirectly bullying him? He's, he's fucking, he called him a, 
So I think the relationship or friendship which Darren and DG have, I don't think that's a bullying friendship or relationship, however you want to put it. What I think happens is Darren's in it for the clout, obviously, and DG's the biggest. So with that, Darren would let DG make fun of him as a like a joke between them two. It's not going to be like DG attacking Darren. But I don't think Darren would let a smaller creator do it. So make with that what you will, but I think I think you understand the situation. And what DG said to Ed Matthews and the situation with Ed Matthews, I think that that wasn't good by DG. That that smell a bit jealous there. And I think DG would want to do more stuff with Darren now. Now Darren's got a bit of clout behind him from the Ed Matthews stuff. <clears throat> but it's the game, isn't it? Hang on, well, that is, oh, but, uh, hang on a minute. Hang, hang on, that could be banter because Darren likes banter, doesn't he? Darren went. Uh, why was, hang on. So why was you calling out Ed Matthews, who's took him around and done a lot more than what you've done, rather than just go and bully him and and take the piss and put a filter on him? Yeah, you're ta- you're you're calling out Ed Matthews. Go share the live. Go share the live. Get share, share the live. Hey, look, hey, DG, one point nine k. I'm getting you up there, baby. I'm getting you up there. You, hey. You'll be at 3K in a minute. Yeah, I'll get your gifts in. Yeah. I'll you where it is. So hang on. So <laughs> you're saying that yours is banter. He's with Ed Matthews floating around and everything else. And you're calling out Ed Matthews saying he's indirectly bullying him. So what was yours then? Yours were just banter. He said, he said to him, you effing S-P-A-Z-T-I-C. You, you put a filter on putting eyes up there and eyes up here. And and I went yeah, you yeah. want it. After, so what? After so I go. What? After we asked for something. Hey, just, let me just. Don't wipe your tears. Don't 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 dry your eyes. I had a crumb <laughs> on my mouth. <laughs> uh, this is one of the problems with social media. Um, you get people who have disabilities, and they allow certain people based on views or friends of friends or to be accepted into a group to like take the piss a little bit obviously at the time it's a mutual joke but you've got to think everything you're doing online is either recorded or live isn't it so it's either an image or it's moving okay so if you're if you're calling someone a name which is bad which a normal person on the street wouldn't be allowed to call that person um you're sort of promoting it a bit aren't you you're sort of saying it's all right without saying it's all right because one person saying something and the other person who's got the disability is laughing at it so it sort of makes to an audience which don't really i don't know it could be a younger audience or it could just be an audience of trolls or audience of anything they might not understand that this is like personal like darren's give dg the card to say it and darren's give um ed matthews the card but you're going to get other people who think they have the card but there's only two cards <laughs> so you're going to get people calling him all sorts on the street this darren kid and it's not going to go well once all the clouds die down and stuff it's not going to go well because then it then it turns into bullying doesn't it really and i'm not saying what what's happening here is wrong i'm not saying that from a broader audience there's no there's no restriction is there he said uh, and as well you know how you're saying get numbers up you do realize I was sat on 12,000 people while I was doing come down two point, you do two two. Listen, like let me tell you something you were sat on 800 900k and you always sit at that you had 2.2k because I'm in your live and I'm I'm clout chasing off of you remember I that sit, I sit at about over I sit at minimum over a thousand minimum. this is not a dig a DG a from me screen like this because obviously you're not seeing what I'm doing just sitting in a pair of, a pair of <laughs> eyes my, my, my chin's bigger than your ch- I'm sorry I mean my, my yeah whatever 
anyway. Yeah, I'm not bothered about looks or anything like that. I don't give a... I don't you give are. A you, 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 because before I hung up, you was going on about my hairline, mate. I'm 40 years of age. I'm happily married. I've got my child there. Yeah, where are you? Oh, you're swung off away from your child to spend people with on TikTok so you can get some more gifts in and everything, and you, mate? TikTok's so, ruined your life. Let's face it. Listen, TikTok's ruined your life. Let's face it. You're putting a big, brave face on. You hide behind that little raccoon. All right, and let, let's face it. Deep down, you sit there and you probably cry yourself to sleep. It's not. It's listen. I do. I do. It's not embarrassing. It, it's women. You've made yeah. mistakes, right? But well, stop I'm taking happy. off the vulnerable women because you won't want your. I have. I have seen the clip before, and I don't know whether this is the same clip. I don't know whether this joins on to what I've seen before, but DG got called out for doing lives every time he's driving to places. Uh, I think the guy in the box said um, he said something like you can't drive down the motorway without getting people to fill your tank sort of thing it's quite a good quote but um, I sort of agree with that if you're going somewhere to do content then I, I would just knock the filming on the way sort of thing because it's not as much as the audience think it's content this is for everyone who's driving somewhere and goes live and something like I just think it's like getting I think when you do content it's like getting a cloth okay everyone starts off with a dry cloth doing content you dip in the cloth into some liquid so that the cloth's now a liquid filled wet cloth all right a cloth full of wet content and you just you're draining you're draining the content and hoping what falls off it is pound signs really aren't you I mean it's not a bad thing because that's that's how YouTube works and that's how everything works but when there's people involved it's a bit different like YouTube's off how many views you get you get paid in it but on live it's a bit different in it the cloth the cloth's the people on the live, innit? And the water. That's the pound. That's the pound signs. It's a bit like getting all you can sort of thing. But like I can say it's not. This isn't something I'd go at DG4 because everyone does it. It's like a creative thing on here. Doesn't mean it's correct to do. It, it just. My whole thing is manipulation on vulnerable people. So yes, this falls into the bracket, but he's not actively doing anything. It's a, it's a hard one. It's just... Let me just continue playing while I think about it. <laughs> a woman who you pay child maintenance, which I hope you do, to then give it to somebody like yourself who hides behind a raccoon, right? and takes other people's money and manipulates them because so you can go on holidays to the Benidorm and that. Because you are a pathetic... You, you Listen, you are a pathetic man. You've had a dig at my wife, which was uncalled for because she never said anything wrong to you, and you will pay for that, and I promise you, that's not no threat. Okay. You will regret that because you can't go around walking around like you think you're this big arm you and it's yeah. going offering people out. You're going to throw a drink and throw them off the balconies because <clears> one day... It will really bite you on the arse. It He's probably will. It will probably will. But this thing, as you say, you can't hide behind the raccoon all your life. I'm not hiding behind the raccoon. I'm, I'm sat here. You well, know where? Well, you, you're, like you're driving down. You're driving down the motorway, reading comments. Well, so like, if you went into a back of something, imagine your imagine your wife and your kid driving down the road, and somebody went in the back of them because they're too busy hiding behind a raccoon little fucking feature whilst reading comments on TikTok, and then they went in the back of their car and killed them. Oh. But because you're, you're an absolute lo listen, you're an absolute low life. But it's all about that. It. Go you're to work. Go and learn. Listen, go. But you're go entertaining and, me. Go I didn't learn. listen to you, go DHB. As I say, what, what paper, nothing you say will you know, ever affect. I think for everyone, this this doesn't just go for DG in this video. I think everyone who's driving and they feel like they have to put a filter on because you know TikTok will flag it that they're doing something dangerous because your life's going to get banned isn't it for dangerous acts so if, you, if the camera's pointing at you and you're looking at the comments and you're driving if he's on the motorway he's doing about 70 and he give or take it's fast 
fast. Like each second you look away from the road, you're doing 70 miles in an hour. You're probably covering 70 miles a second. You're probably covering about 50 to 60 feet there on a one second look away. Imagine that. Imagine you're reading the comments in that whole journey where you've got the screen on and you're looking, you could be doing like, pfft, I, don't, I don't even know how to do the maths on that. You, you're looking away for a lot of, lot of yards, you know, and a lot, a lot can happen in that time. So this isn't just at DG, anyone who's driving who knows that it's not responsible to do that and you've got to put a filter on to get to get away with it. It's wrong, isn't it? Nothing you say will no, it ever. It does affect you. It does affect you in there, mate. You can hide behind. You can hide behind your raccoon little face. It does affect you because we're all men, and we're all like. Listen, you can. That, and that's why you're hiding behind the little fucking feature. A grown man hiding behind a feature, driving his little Range Rover, <laughs> thinking he's the dog's bollocks, leaving your child and your 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 child's mother to fend whilst you're going on begging off of other women. It's pathetic. Yeah. You're sad. I am. You're sad. I'm not at a Stella. I'll tell you what I've had. I'm on a Heineken because we sit in our garden, we have a lovely little drink, and we chill out. Tears are streaming down my face. As a, fam as a family. Tears are streaming down my face. Drop me because I've told the truth, mate. I've made you look like an absolute weapon, you, even though you make yourself look like a little weapon. Why would I drop you? I don't need to drop you. But you, the thing is, you do not, you do, literally, you do not let me have my eyes say, like you say, and you just go out and attack and attack and attack, which is sound, as I say, I'm happy to sit here and listen, because for me, it doesn't matter, you, there's nothing, listen, you're saying, oh, uh, you know where I'm going now, yeah? yeah, you're always sat in a beer garden, which is fair enough, you work, you do whatever, you can sit in a beer garden. You're always but sat in your car begging, mate, listen, you're always, you're always sat in your car begging off of vulnerable cursed, first to Kirsties, it's embarrassing, so... Listen, I'm sat in a beer garden with a big park over there where my daughter plays. We have a little bit of food, we have a drink, and that's what normal people do on a Sunday or a bank holiday weekend. People, random people, to pay for your, your living. Or Just a FYI, guys, never mention anyone's um, children or whatnot on a live, because it's a bit, a bit too far, isn't it, to be fair? Doesn't matter who it is. Right. Don't know. If you're trying to hurt someone, you'd probably would mention that, but it's just too it's a different realm, in it? Yeah, I don't really wanna <clears throat> bring that up. I'm not saying anyone's brought it up here, but I just mean in general, don't don't ever bring up anyone's offspring. I was sitting in Benadorm with a transvestite who fucking hates the guts out of you and then fucking, t you know, starts exposing you. Mm. One day you might go, actually, you one day you'll probably go begging your ex-missus to get back with her and say, I'm sorry, but she might, she's probably with somebody now who's fathering your child, mate. Yeah, exactly that. <clears throat> You're right. Everything you say is right. Everything. The, the thing is from both, both sides here and any argument which has happened, like, again, like the kid, was brought into it sort of thing it's like it can be as factual as you want it to be factual but it's sort of like a twist in it when you mention it all you've got is desperate housewives. There's not much. Who are, are in this comment now going, oh, wow, oh, wow, is he still going on? Is he still going on? They ain't got a fucking life. They ain't got a life. They've probably got three kids to three different dads raping in the old fucking CSA, giving it to you. How sad are they? And you think I'm going to be affected by people's comments like that? You Someone saying DG's doing well to not react. Uh, correct Mundo. He is doing well, but, and I say, but if you ever are feeling like you want to get at someone, okay, if you're like, if you got a point to prove or this person's done to you and you feel like you want one up, 
he's vulnerable at the minute. You might not see it, but DG's vulnerable at the minute. To have a conversation with someone and to articulate what you want to articulate, you need sometimes, and a lot of the time, concentration. Your mind needs to be thinking three steps ahead of what the other person's saying. That's how you always go in life. Three steps ahead every time. What situation DG's in here is he's been called out about something he's doing. So whether it's wrong or right, he's doing it. It just so happens it's wrong. And he can't stop doing it because he needs to get somewhere. Okay, so he's in a position now where someone's at him and he needs to drive. He's also reading the comments. He's in a vulnerable position as such. So it to be honest, it is a good time for DHB to be saying this stuff, to be honest, because it might actually get in. And if a creator isn't firing back as such and his audience are watching, it sort of gets through to their audience a bit better, doesn't it? If, you, if you're if you diehard sticking up for your favourite creator and someone comes in and says, you should not be doing this, everyone's going to be like, oh, bore off. Fun, please. Get lost. You don't know what he's like. But if that creator's like taking it, they're going to be more like, all right then. Seems like it's at a nerve. <clears throat> Are, you're, you're, but you're affected by their income because they gift you and they make you who you are. And how sad is that? But you know, so you know you're saying there, yeah, yeah, right? That I and someone else's father, my child, and whatever else, right? I, I'm going to have you listen here. If you do speak, I will mute you. But I, I'm happy to keep you in the box, and I'll happily explain my side, right? So. So you're saying nobody can split up without them not being a good dad. I know, listen, I know for a fact I'm a good dad. Just seen a comment there saying, you think it's okay for DHB to say another man fathering his child? Are you... Just to elaborate, I did, like, a few minutes ago say you should never mention someone's offspring, someone's kids. It's not good. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. You should never do that okay and I'm there for my child whenever she needs I'm there for uh, when from Thursday to Sunday and and I'm there so the time I don't spend with her what meant to sit at home just cuddling a pillow and going oh no like I see my daughter every week without fail I never let her down I'm there every Thursday to Sunday every Thursday to Saturday and the same so you so that means you can call my partner a part-time mum as well then or does that mean that's an amicable relationship where we both get honest friends we still FaceTime each other daily I don't know how, your daughter, how old your daughter is now, right? But say, for instance, now when she gets to seven or eight or nine or ten, right? And you take her to Legoland or you take her to... Am I, should I skip this part, guys? Because I don't really want to be, like, showing stuff about conversations with people's offspring and stuff because it's not good, is it? It's not... If I'm, I'm just as bad... If I'm, if I'm showing it to you guys, I'm just... I'm promoting it and I don't really want to do that. It's not my cup of tea. <clears throat> Bear with me until I get to a point. Sit there and go, oh yeah, that's all right. You go and send him 20, 30, 40 quid here, there and everywhere. Look, look, your, look, go through your following list, mate. Go through your following list. What do you think normal people with husbands and that, do you think their husbands are going to sit there and go, oh yeah, that's all right. You go and send him 20, 30, 40 quid here, there and everywhere. These single people are desperate and you rape, you, 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 you're like that with your little fishing rod. You and JC are like, right, come on, we'll make you laugh. So we listen. Easiest way to get into a woman's fucking knickers is making them laugh. Now the 2024 version is easiest way to get into a woman's fucking CSA payments is make them laugh. And you know that, mate. You're not that. So you're admitting, you're admitting that. I'm funny. So you're admitting I'm funny. <laughs> not, to not, not to me. Not to me. Not, not to me. No, no, not to me. No, no, I don't. Fuck. Uh, so, you actually like some me, of the things you've done has made me laugh. Some Let's of the things you've made, you've made me laugh. Yeah, I, well, not, not not enough to get my money out and give you, gift you, but to desperate housewives who've got no life, their <laughs> husbands have probably left them for their fucking cleaner or whatever. Then yeah, you are. You know what? You listen. You're not daft. Right. Just to say, uh, I am not anti-gifting. Okay, I'm not. I do not want to see these big creators 
drop off okay as such drop off i don't want to do that okay they can keep getting the gifts they can keep doing the leaderboards who the hell am i i'm just a david beckham lookalike aren't i admit it now who, who am i to say you can get a gift and who can't but i'm just trying to bring awareness to people who are vulnerable Okay, and you can you can fight back and say, how does a creator know whether a gift is vulnerable or not? There is signs. They know the signs. Everyone knows the signs. Everyone can dissect anything anyone can say, can't they really, and find the cons in it. All right. But if the creators take the correct measures in order to make sure that there isn't vulnerable people gifting, then it's, it's a good place, isn't it? If someone's a millionaire, multi-millionaire, sending 200 quid, 300 quid, a thousand pound, however much they want to spend a day, I haven't got a problem with that. I've not got a problem with that. If that multi-millionaire, if his wife's left him, okay, if his world's falling apart, if he's an alcoholic, if he's dependent on something, if he's lonely, all right, and he's sending that money for attention, then I have a problem with it. Okay? Same thing's happening, just one of them's really important to help, and the other one, it is what it is. Okay? So if there's someone sat at home, wife's next to him, they're watching TV, everything's nice, nothing's going on in the life, sad, not depending on anything, and they're like, I like this guy, I'm going to send him this much what it is isn't it if i bring awareness to something that should not affect these people if these people who are comfortable in life and are able to send this stuff my message is not for you so i don't understand why you would fight it this is what's confusing me i've been sat here not tonight but last night when i was banned i was sat there for a bit and i was thinking why why are people fighting this like what what is it I'm doing wrong? And then I got a pen and paper out and then I wrote down everything I was doing wrong and I went through about 60 pages and then I screwed it all up and chucked it in the bin and thought, fuck it. All right. But I'm thinking like what this, it's not for the people who are good. So if you're good in life and you're sending gifts, there's no point in you telling me like why you're doing it you're jealous or this or that because that's not true the awareness and trying to spread is not for you is it and if you care about your community or the people around you or the mods around you or your creator you spread a bit of awareness you know i'm i'm not the only person who can speak this language i'm not the only guy with the awareness lingo other people can say it. I can, I'm just, at the minute, with the platform EQ's given me, I'm able to say it a bit louder than other people, but I'm sure I'll die off soon, and there'll be other people, or maybe not. But, yeah. So if you're good, you're good. I'm not attacking your creator. I'm bringing awareness to it. Okay? So if your creator says, listen, I understand there's vulnerable people, Okay, I'll do a video about it or I'll say at the lives, I'll go through these points and make sure that there's light shed on this dark area before I engage in 24-7 battles. Then we've won, haven't we? We can move on to the next one. It's not about it's not about punishing the creator, getting the creator off. It, that's not what it's about. We can't change that. You can't take the manipulators away. But you can take the victims away from the manipulation one by one that's all okay i'm gonna crack on now before i put you all to sleep <clears throat> no how to let people so i can show I, listen, me, I'm not that, you show I can me be, I can... where i've manipulated shared a live someone said about the adro you are in the right place because he's the next alive. one tiktok is here so what are you gonna do are you gonna take tiktok down you need to go sorry, what sorry, you need to sorry, do is, sorry, sorry you've sorry, got a hatred got, towards I'm, me I'm sorry i just want to point out 3.5k now Right, I just had to mute him a sec, because again, he just talks. TikTok is here, right? 
TikTok Live is here. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you if you want to do something about it, go above me. You're personally attacking me because you don't like me or, or whatever, which is fine. You, you know what I mean? As I say, but what you need to do is you need to take it bigger. If you think there's really a problem, you need to take it bigger because I don't see you having the same energy for the rest of the people on the rankings. You have it for me because I've got a lot of people in my chat. And you know, I still give the same energy for, I still answer the same people. Yeah, I think, it, I think he's still doing I 70. I'll still answer a know. message if I can. I have a lot of people who message me. But you, t you, you come back with proof now. I've been on here two years, yeah? You come back with proof of me manipulating <clears throat> somebody or messaging them. Saying, okay, so I have a lot of screenshots and I have a lot of messages from people who have said that DG and his mods have manipulated them in the past. Okay, and when I say a lot, everyone's a lot is a bit different, isn't it? Mine's over 10, under 20. Okay, so I have what I think is a lot of people which have reached out about it. All right, now, I have not shown all of these, okay? Reason being, I have found out that a lot of these people are salty about something which, is D which DG has done. So... When someone's a bit salty about something, I then can't tell whether the screenshots are taken out of context or not. I.e., the two screenshots I shown the other day, which were from a Discord group or whatever group it was, and someone debunked it saying it was um, a crowdfund for his birthday. But someone had sent me a massive message saying he's done this, he's done that, and then on the back of it, these screenshots... So from that, from showing that, I have learned, okay, do not throw everything out there because, yes, there is vulnerable people. Yes, there is people that have been manipulated, but also there is people which are just pissed off at DG and other creators that will just screenshot anything out of context. And it's hard for me to decipher what is and what isn't. And that's why it takes time. So on some messages I've got, you can't you can't even see who sent it. You can't see what time it's been sent. You can't see anything. So if I throw up a screenshot of a message and it's not got a time, it's not got who from, it's not got who's in the group, I could have wrote that message. I could have put, I could have just put that together. I could get one of my mates. Oh, friends. I could get one of my friends to write the message, couldn't I? So it's not correct. It's not correct to do that. What I said about having messages from people to DG is correct. There is messages which I believe are from DG to people. Manipulating. But. But. I need to see whether they're out of context or not. There's a difference. If I show you a message and it says, yeah, send me 100 quid, and that person says, yeah, sure, and it's a screenshot, and I can't see what's above it, <laughs> it might be like, can I buy that off you? And the person's gone, yeah, of course you can. It's 200 quid, but I'll give it you half price. And someone said, yeah, I'll, get, I'll send you 100 quid now. I said, all right, sweet. See you on the live. Then it's out of context, isn't it? I don't, I can't show that because it's not factual. So I'm not after taking DG down. Don't get that twisted. That's not what it is. The day when there was that live with 8K people in there, I was put under some mad pressure <laughs> To, to get these images out, these screenshots of messages. So mad, mad pressure. I had my, my inbox was blowing up. Send them. I had negativity coming at me from all angles as well. And I'm sat there thinking, I could, I could, I could throw it out there. I could throw every image I've got out there. But that's either going to tarnish DG, which is not the goal here, or it's going to tarnish me which is certainly not the goal. And that's that's as it is. So 
Remember, this is just about awareness. Okay, I'm not the police. I'm not here to arrest these creators for manipulating. I do not have that power. I can sit back and watch people getting manipulated. If I go to them and say, listen, this isn't correct, they're not going to listen to me. If I go to the creator and say, stop doing that, they're not going to listen to me. I'm here for the people who are willing to walk away from it. Shed a bit of light. That's it. And can you come to my battle? Can you... Can you... Can you... Is this my live messing up or what? Them is like blame the council, right? right? Blame the council for them begs who are sat on the end of the road saying that they're homeless, but they're not. And they get around the corner and they get in their Range Rover and piss off after they've begged thousands of pounds a day, right? Oh, hang on, blame the council. They should be removing them. No, 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 no. It's people like you who abuse this app, right? And abuse the vulnerable people. You know... People are vulnerable on this app. You know full damn well. You had a, a, a professional, uh, very successful business, didn't you? Where's that? With, with, where's that? Oh, I, actually, what? you thought oh, it's easy to come on this app, go live, and get thirsty Kirsties to pay for my lifestyle. Let's face it, mate. Like, it, stop passing the book to TikTok. TikTok takes 65 percent. Listen, <clears throat> if you went to work tomorrow and I said to you, work for me and I'll, give, I'll take 65 percent and I'll give you 35 percent, right, you wouldn't do it. You'd be like, fuck off, that's fucking, you're having a blind. I wouldn't work for anybody else. I wouldn't work for anybody else. You do. You work for TikTok. TikTok no, takes 65 percent. TikTok <clears throat> takes 65 percent of your... I mean, I, I, to be honest, I think we can change the video there because um, it's just going to be an argument, isn't it? And I think DG's had enough of a blasting <laughs> for now. Um, let's see what else we've got. I'm just going to take this down for one second. So I don't want to get bananaed. Put some music on. We're on a budget here, people. So I've got to click buttons and stuff manually. Gonna find another video one sec. Is in the comments. Give you 20 seconds to guess who's coming up on the screen. The voice of we reason, apparently. Right, shadow entrance. Oppengeimer, or whatever they're called. Das und Werk in Burgerfahren. <laughs> Shit, basically. EQ doesn't intimidate what me one little bit. I don't oh. come on here to earn a living. I come on here for a chat, and as long as I've got it... Fuck off and make this army. Fuck off. Who listens to these people? I'm going in here by... I try and go in it unbiased and stuff. But when I see someone just casually on a burger van talking shit, it's like, just fuck off. Have you not got a queue or something? Have you not got a burger to sizzle? I do think you're a bit of a prat as well, the way you jumped in the box in front of 8,000 people pissing. Pissing on my awareness, Pearl. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. The voice of reason. Hey, jumping in. Jumping in. Me jumping out the hot tub. 8,000 people in the live. <laughs> I make muscles in there. Fucking start on yourself, mate. If you're making muscle, fuck me. Should be a walking advertisement. I make muscle. That other guy, I'm not going to mention his name. Fucking Klingon. Then Pearl jumps up with a voice. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Who give Pearl a platform? Come on. Own up to it. 
own up to it. Sometimes in life, rodents make their way up. Rodents come up with a mouth and say what they want. They don't get extinguished. Pearl, you are on my radar. You have not got away with what you said. I have an anthem which I play every time I see your face. Just a matter of time. Let's see what Pearl's saying anyway. <laughs> I'm surprised the tongue's not fucked off from my mouth yet. She's got IBS in her mouth, she talks that much shit. 800 folliers to go live, that's all that bothers to me and my own people in. Uh, she twisting it all. She's twisting it all, make you look bad. But my. I show my gran. My gran's not well at the minute. Sympathy votes. Um, I showed my gran what FaceTime was about three years ago. Pretty much went like that, to be honest, when I called her the next day. Am I pressing the buttons correctly? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. Now, where's my spending money? Page sees the truth. Exactly. Listen, and if anybody else... Uh, says that because I'll go where she's at. She needn't tell no lies. There was only four doing the F page at that time and they were all fucking friends. So a heap of shite uh, coming across and saying they ruled. Who else are they going to? Sorry, do you know I'm missing my favourite little person out my Tyrone, but he's is totally different. Do you know I don't class he's like the F page. He's is more... Because Tyrone's very funny, isn't he? And I love his reactions on everything. So he's... Yes, he still talks about what's on the pages, but I don't class him like that. He's is like hilarious to watch. Um, and then asking about me and Luke because everybody keeps thinking that I'm friends with all these people behind the scenes. No, I'm not. Um, and it is what it is, and that's it. Um, and the only other one that I thought was friends was Alex Brigham. And then I got two screenshots sent where basically he was being a little rat trying to get out that he spoke to us. I pre would have preferred for him to say, Pearl, you're blocked and I don't want to speak to you no more instead of being somebody different. And yes, he's react. So basically what Pearl's done is said something atrocious. She's only said sorry for it because she's been called out on it. If no one called her out on it, she'd still be saying it now at a burger van. And what's happened, the knock-on effect of that, of people have distanced themselves away from Pearl a little bit more because she's a megaphone. She's a megaphone with no autocorrect. So people have just distanced themselves because they thought, all right, this is bad for brand. Okay, I don't want an FYP show when Pearl comes in and says, yeah, yeah. Next time, putting a buddy sorry video, apology video, saying who I'm friends with and stuff. So basically, karma's come to get Pearl. Not this karma yet, but actual karma has sort of come there. So what you're going to find with Pearl is she's going to find a group of people now. A group of people which put up with that sort of behaviour. Uh, delinquents. Maybe losers. And they're going to accept her with open arms. Pearl, make us a burger. And she'll fit in. She'll fit in for a month or so until she says something wrong again. And then repeat. Find a group of people. She'll put up with it. That's how it is. And that's what I love. I love my Tyrone, I absolutely do. Um, we would never, well, no, 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 listen, and you know, from now on, don't you, I've told you, I'm a one gal woman, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. But it, listen, not my loss. It's not like the next to us, I don't need somebody to come onto this page with me. 
I don't sit and do masses amount of games or anything like that. I uh, come on here and I started my page on my own. Nobody else has given us a platform whatsoever. Uh, what a- Every time you get in a box, Pearl, if you're in it, <laughs> if you found the way in it, not got lost on the way. Where is it? Hello, love. I'm looking for some purple lights with David Beckham in front. <laughs> If you find that pearl, you are definitely in the right place. But as soon as you go in someone's box, pearl, and that room has big numbers in it, they're giving you their platform, aren't they? Giving you a bit of, you a bit of, come up here with us. Just don't open your mouth. That's what happens, isn't it? You come off the box and you've got like 200 more followers. 200 more people that didn't realise what you said two weeks ago. I'll make sure they know what you said two weeks ago. Don't worry about that, Pearl. You're not off the hook yet. Whatever I've got, I've got it off my own back. Um, and that's all that I need to say. And I only need my people who loves me in here all the time. And I love you too. And then that's it. That That's exactly it. And do you know something? What's been happening over the past few weeks? Do you know when I always say everything's meant for a reason? It maybe was meant to get that way. Because I'm even saying it myself, I was getting myself into too much bother. And just because you do stand up for your friends, I love you too. You do stand up for your friends. And if I'm somebody's friend, I am loyal and I'm a true friend. But then you learn again, it doesn't work that way. Devo Pearl, you started in your burger van and you're back to yourself. Now I am. And my queen bee has been there from day dot, haven't you, my baby? Um. She was there in the good old days. But yes, so, um, oh, thank you, everybody. At the end of the day, we all just a number born one. Exactly, a million percent, a million percent. I love you too, my mystery. Uh, and Mr. Right, this is not, I'm not trying to create a troll group here, okay? I'm not trying to create something where take people off the app. It's not that. Don't do nasty comments anywhere. Don't do anything. If you can see something's happening, watch. Gather the information. Don't be hasty to say something. Just just take it all in. Then you can work the person out with the information you've got. And if there is something wrong there, then if it's affecting other people, we can resolve it with that person, can't we? But just as like a poll, but not a poll... Do you think, just put a yes or a no, all right? Do you think, um, how do you word this? Do you think it's okay that Pearl is now moved on from the situation which happened and everyone else has moved on from it? Is that okay? Yes or no? No. Got a yes in there? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, there's a broader audience saying no. So how is she allowed to do it? How she managed to do that? Who's allowed her? Who's enabled Pearl to just brush it under the carpet? Who's give Pearl box room? How How's that a thing? Surely if I say something atrocious atrocious on this live now okay and then i want to go in a box next week or something and it's gone round, gone round the fyp i've said something atrocious and then i want to go in the box and that person allows me to go in the box and does talk chit chat how's the weather today yeah it's all right yeah yeah doesn't that person then support knowingly or unknowingly what I've done I think so 